Oh, hello there. Didn't see you guys. Can you be faster in VR than you can be on screen? Screen versus VR. That's what this video is all about. The Freak Show. We're gonna do some hot lapping in a set of Corsa, the old set of Corsa, in a Porsche 911 GT3R, in Brent Hatch, Nurburgring, and Donington Park. Like any good scientific piece, we start with stating the significance, the necessity of our experiment, and there's none. It's just for fun. Maybe for those people out there who are thinking of buying VR just for the sake of being faster. You really shouldn't. You should have seen that coming. It's a bit of a spoiler, but you really should have seen the coming. Now what makes good research is to leave as many factors stable as possible. Keep them the same. So we're driving the same car, optimum track, same weather, same time, same wind direction. And of course we made sure that we were well rested for each session of hot lapping. Because hot lapping is all about focus, focus and focus. So in between sessions, do some yoga, think about the world as one happy family, one happy planet, even though it really isn't. Now, our biggest challenge in this research is what we would call the learning curve. Let's say you're hot lapping for 10 laps on Brands Hatch on screen and then jumping into VR. Well, you're gonna be better because you've already drove the track, you kind of learned the track in those 10 laps. Therefore, we picked uh, three tracks that we know well so that this learning curve should really be minimal. Also, we practiced before in varying degrees. In Brands Hatch, we practiced the day before, one hour long. Nürburgring, we practiced for 30 minutes, half an hour. And on Donington Park, we didn't practice. We just went straight in. I'm saying we. I'm really just alone, like always. Now, our hypothesis is that you would be better in VR because basically if you drive on screen you see this and in VR you see everything around you. So you should be able to see the next corner coming a little quicker in VR. Uh, also there is a, a 3D perspective, an actual 3D perspective because there's two screens in, in the VR goggles. So you see actual depth. Therefore, because of this whole learning curve thing, we always start firstly in VR to give the screen that learning curve advantage. So, let's see how we did. It's really just me. So there we have it. After 10 laps on each, the best hot laps were 1 minute 26.491 in VR and 1 minute 26.438 in screen. That is a difference of 0.53 milliseconds better on screen. Uh, the difference actually being negligible, but VR is basically not better. So for this round I practiced an hour long before. My hypothesis now is that in VR you can however learn a track quicker. So next round was in the Nullburg ring with only 30 minutes of practice before. Once again first in VR then on screen. 10 laps each. Let's see the best hot laps.
after another 10 laps here in the new book ring we see way more significant results the best hot lap in vr being 1 minute 58 seconds 599 and on screen 1 minute 59 seconds 925 so a difference of 1 second and 326 milliseconds you could see how i got the advantage in vr early hitting all the apexes where i drove very conservatively on track on the screen's hot lap you could just see that i wasn't really comfortable with the track yet i felt a lot less practice as well in both runs as i gave myself a shorter practice time and of course the nubug ring being a longer track and in my opinion it's a more difficult track so the last track now is donnington park the shortest track i drove a little over 20 laps here gave myself no practice before and uh here are the best hot laps <laughs> So once again a very negligible result. Screen actually winning it by 0.21 milliseconds. We expected that VR would win here but running 20 laps on this shorter track actually made me learn the track quite well that quickly. So me getting a better lap in on screen was just me having learned the track that well and once again we see that you can perform as good on screen as you can in VR. Now this is just hot lapping. I'm very interested to see how consistency would hold up in VR compared to on screen. So we'll do that next time. Or how is it uh, to race against others? Because in VR supposedly you have a big advantage on really seeing how close someone is to you. And you can be a lot more safe and know what type of moves you can make and what type of moves you cannot make. Or for instance, what results would we get when we do the same type of tests in rallying, in Dirt Rally 2 for instance. In conclusion, I must say that VR can make you faster in the short term when you're really trying to get to know a track. However though, we saw that you can achieve the same results on screen. So therefore, it doesn't necessarily make you faster in the long run. I'm keeping my VR goggles on for the rest of my life anyway, just to be sure. Thank you for watching, this was The Flake Show. See you next time.